guys, so Oliver has some news for us, don't you Oliver? What did we find this morning? A tick. Oliver has a tick. Now we've been checking for these. If you don't know what a tick is, it's a little tiny dark insect. And Matthew, you tell us, what does it do? So pretty much it um, uh, sticks onto your body and sucks your blood. Yeah, it basically buries its head into you and then it sucks your blood and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and then it drops off, okay? So poor Oliver has a tick. Don't you? And how long have you had it, do you think? Over two weeks. Over two weeks? Yeah, because he's had it um, at, when, Mulgola. at Mulgola. What? Are you sure? Yeah, I, I had it ages ago. That's not good, Oliver. I, I um, thought that it was a brown wart. You thought that it was like a wart or something, yeah. And he told me last night, he said, Mum, I've got something under my arm. And I thought it might have been just like a skin tag. But then when we checked this morning, because I forgot to check last night, I'm pretty sure it's a tick. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure Dad's just having a shower. It's early in the morning, so he's going to come and have a look, okay? Do you want to show us? You should ask Josh and Brayden because they saw videos of them. Have they seen them? Yeah. Now, it's under Oliver's arm, okay? So let's have a look. It's tiny, guys. It just looks like a very small, dark, you can't really see. Yeah, it's just a little dark circle. It's tiny, isn't it? So, Dad's going to come out and try and remove it. You're supposed to remove it with tweezers, okay, because the, you've got to try and get the head out. So, if it is a tick, what we just saw, that's the body, and then its head is inside. It's pretty disgusting, isn't it? It's quite obvious it? that it's a tick because there's, like, the red around it, so that might give us a clue. Yeah, I think it, yeah, it looks kind of like, it's hard to see on the camera, but it looks like the skin is kind of pulled in all around it, like... Yeah, it's pretty gross. <laughs> so, what do you think, Aaliyah? It's disgusting. Do you have any ticks? <coughs> oh, I hope not. So, this is one of the joys, guys, of living on a property. So, Oliver plays down here in the trees, mostly at the creek. I think ticks like to live down near water and in the trees. So, they jump onto you, I guess, or fall onto you when you're playing, don't they? Because we had a friend come over and he got one. Okay, that's how we knew to look out for them. But um, I don't think anybody else has had one, have they? But we just need to be really careful and check, okay? Every night when you have a shower. Well, but how could it get on my armpit? I don't know. Well, it must have crawled up. It must have landed somewhere on you and then crawled up. They must find a good spot. Maybe you were asleep and you had your arms up. Do you sleep with your arms up in the air? Sometimes, yes. Yeah, well, that might have been what happened. And it, it thought that was a good usually spot. Usually he goes... <laughs> does he does it, like, way more, like... <laughs> like that. Now you two have got Nutella all over your faces. They've just had Nutella sandwiches, guys. So that's what that is. No, Mommy, still there. Like you might need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, are you having Nutella too? All right. So guys, I've just Googled ticks on the computer. These are so gross, okay? So here they are, here. They look like spiders. They look a bit like spiders, don't they? Yeah, yeah. there's all different sorts. So... From what I've just read, I think the one that Oliver has is actually pretty big. I thought it was small, but it's actually pretty big because they start off really tiny, okay? I think so. that one is from all the blood. Oh, because they've been eating. Oh, they're so disgusting, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so they bury into your skin, don't they? Ew. Pretty gross. I feel bad for Oliver. Poor Oliver. So, Dad's awake. Hey, everyone. So, are you going to save the day, Dad? I don't know. <laughs> I hope so. What's going Ollie's, on? Ollie's a bit nervous. Come and show Dad. Come over here. What have you got? And show tick. Dad. We think it's a tick, but we're not sure. <laughs> it's a bit red around it too. Does it hurt? No. I thought you said it was a bit sore. It's, it, no, it's just like itchy, it doesn't like hurt. Mm. So do you think it's a tick, Dad? I think it is, but the problem is, once they bury in like that, from my understanding, once they actually go in head first, you have to actually go to the doctor, I think. Really? No, you my just understanding is you can't, yeah, well. Mm. Maybe it, we shouldn't risk it, Ollie. I can take you just up the road and they'll just, they'll know exactly what they're doing, it'll be better. Really? Because they'll just do it real quick. They'll know exactly what I can to do. take it out, but the point is it might leave 
half of it in there. And then you've got to go to the doctor anyway. Yeah, I'll go to the doctor. And then they yeah. have to use a knife and stuff and All right. cut it out. The but, doctor. Yeah. Well, yeah. If hope you try. Yeah, maybe if Dad tries. Well, but the thing is, if the doctor tries, he might have to use a knife as well. Well, not don't, don't make it sound like that. They know what they're doing, and they put you know. Not necessarily. They're not just going to get my a knife eyesight and cut is you very open. good. <laughs> it's up to you, man. <laughs> if it was me, I'd risk trying it. Yeah, well. Yeah, same with me. I'll just get Dad. You'd just get Dad to do it. Because I've, I've seen people on YouTube, they just use their hands and just pluck it out like it's sad. Have you seen them like that, though? Because that yeah. one looks really embedded. Does, you have you seen it? I think we just go to the doctor because the other problem is yeah, we don't I've have I've seen any... ones like that's like three times as big as some and they just. Yeah, well, big is probably easier, to be honest. This yeah. one's very small. And the other thing is we don't have any flat tweezers. I no, no, no. It'll, it'll come out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ollie, let's go to the doctor. No, 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 yeah. come on, be a man. Doctor. <laughs> man. Doctor. All right, doctor now. Say yes if you want to risk it. <laughs> Who thinks Dad should just pull it out? Everyone's probably laughing, going, what a big fuss over a little tick. But we've never taken <laughs> one out before. I don't think I love You think you should go to the doctor, Aaliyah? What do you think, Josh? Dad? What do you think? Doctor, Dad thinks Dad. Dad. What do you think, Caleb? Hang on, hang on. Dad? I know what I think. Ooh. I think Mum. Me? What? Well, no. Nah. <laughs> no thanks, too gross right. for me. Yeah, take and, well, you could video Aaliyah. Well, you oh, yeah. Can I have right. one last Well, thing? I guess okay. we'll see you guys at the doctor because it's ultimately Oliver's choice, all right? Let's have one more look, see if we can see it up close because the lighting's yeah. a bit better over here. Because oh we couldn't God, see it before. It just looks like a black ball. Mm. Pretty gross. Can you it's take like, your shirt off and like have a good half look? Half of it is like. Yeah, because the head's inside. Like half body. of it is like. Yeah, that's that. meant to be its body, I think. Mm. Alright, we'll see you guys soon, okay? So we're just waiting at the doctor. And what did you tell me you thought the doctor was going to do, Ollie? To get a big knife and cut off my arm because. The tickets on it and then give me a robotic arm. Give you a robotic arm. Wow. <coughs> so guys, we're back in the car. We weren't allowed to video in the doctor, okay? So Ollie, tell us what happened. Oh um, so I went to the doctor and then and then um she made me have to take off my jumper and shirt and lie down on this bed thing. So then she had to get tweezers and try and get it out, but she got most of it out, or all, all of it, but she doesn't know if it's all of it. Also uh, then if I have like side effects or something, then I have to go back to get like all of it out, if not yeah. all of it is out. Now, in hindsight, I actually think Dad would have done a better job, guys. Um, she didn't, from what I'd read, she, you're not meant to sort of wiggle it around and pull on it sideways and things like that. You're meant to press really firmly and pull it straight up. And she didn't do that um, initially. So she, I'm pretty sure she left the head in there. So then she had to dig around um, for about 10 minutes to try and get it all out, didn't she, Ollie? It's yeah. So it and it so was hurting, much. yeah. So poor Oliver, but he was so brave. Um, and yeah, we need to keep an eye on Oliver for 48 hours to make sure that he doesn't get paralysis in his arm. Apparently, it's only in 1% of cases um, the toxins can spread once the tick is out. So, you should be fine, Oliver, but we need to keep an eye on you, okay, just in case. And Oliver has some medication he's got to take for seven days. One tablet twice a day for seven days, okay, Ollie? All right. Now we're heading off, guys, to go and get new school uniforms because the kids are starting school in just a few days. They're new school. All right, so you were very brave, Oliver. I'm glad it's out. Now you know what to look for, okay? That tick was in for a long time, okay? So yeah, that's why it probably hurt it That's why it was worse. So no more ticks, okay? Thanks, Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.